Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial on the GIMP. Um, this will be a very quick tutorial because I'm going to show you something very simple um, but hopefully very useful and it's just how to create um, new variable brushes. Um, the GIMP does come preloaded with a variety of brushes. Um, we've got these uh, slanted brushes and some circles and we've got what I like to call these fuzzy circles. I'm not sure what the uh, the technical term for those are, but they have the much softer edge, whereas these have the hard edge. Um, it's also got some other kind of random stuff, and then a few things that um, this pepper, I've had GIMP for about a year now, I still haven't found a use for this pepper, um, although the vine leaves down here are quite cool. And these brushes are just very simple, different size brushes, different shapes and slightly different functions, but essentially they're just very simple brushes. And what I want to show you today is just how to make your own very simple brush that has a variable size where you can actually change the values of that one particular brush. Um, if I just show you why I do that, um, if I click on this um, circle 19 brush um, with the hard edge, you'll see that that gives us, oh hello, help if I press that, um, that will give us Do beg your pardon, and that will give us a very simple brush. Now, if I want a much bigger brush than that, um, I'd have to make my own brush. If I want a smaller brush than that, I can pick smaller brushes. So, uh, I'll pick a slightly smaller brush. But I'm kind of limited to the brushes I have there unless I start creating my own ones. And if I did want to colour in a bigger area, or I just want to very quickly blank out an area, um, obviously I can use the fill tool or we've got what we can call um, these variable brushes um, and the reason I call them variable brushes is because these brushes at the moment aren't actually variable if you look at the uh, the dialog for the brushes uh, when you double click on any brush the brush editor pops up and what the brush editor is telling us here is the circle 19 I was using before is a read only brush and that means that these values here, the radius, spikes, hardness, aspect ratio, and so on, are all locked. Um, I can't actually do anything with those, I can't change those values. Um, and with the variable brush, I'm just going to close that for a second, um, what I will be able to do is choose a much bigger brush or a much smaller brush um, just by changing those values. I don't have to select a new brush. And that's brilliant because it means when you are doing something that requires you to be very precise, when you need to be very very small or you need a very particular size brush um, you haven't got to make do for second best, you can make exactly what you need um, so you don't have to rely on the presets so the way you go about making these brushes um, once you're in this brush um, tab in the, your GIMP dialog or you can do this in any of the dialogs that you bring up, any of the docs sorry, that you bring up um, very simply just right click and this menu will pop up and just click on new brush and when you go to new brush, um, the brush editor will pop up and it will tell us, um, you can see I've got a few untitled brushes at the moment, so we've got untitled brush number three. And that's just down here, it's just popped up as a new one. And you can see that what that's given us, the untitled three, it's not read only, and these have become unlocked. So just by toggling these values, I can get the size I need very quickly. And you can see at the moment, this is that brush that I like to call a fuzzy brush. The reason that's fuzzy is because the hardness has been set to 0.5. Um, if I whack that right up to 1, you can see that the edge quite literally becomes hard. And we can make it softer um, to our needs all the way down to 0.1, down to nothing. And what I like to have in my brushes is one variable brush with a hard edge, because that will always be useful and just another variable brush with an edge of about 50 because if you're using an eraser like that as I was explaining in a previous tutorial it's very forgiving of mistakes if you do happen to go over a little bit too much of the image you're trying to delete um, it will delete it very softly before it really commits to it um, so if you imagine um, the black area that you're deleting here is where you're very very sure of yourself but if you sort of stick to the edges here you can just delete ever so slightly and um, you can delete and erase very gently part of the image with the soft edge of your brush before you uh, really annihilate it with the black centre and 
I just find that having those two um, types of brush um, in my tab are very, very useful. And I think that you'd find them useful too. So that's very simple. Um, just to recap, what you need to do, um, once you've got your brushes dialog up, right click, new brush, and then when your new brush comes up, you've got your brush editor to play around with it. And it's very straightforward, very simple, and I hope you find it very useful. Thank you for watching.